Okay, now we have a problem that involves a negative r, negative theta. Okay, we're still, we still have the same conditions that we did before for previous problem, working with uh, degrees here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I wanna plot this point just to make sure that my answers, I'll still be able to plot and end up at the same spot I started from. So it's always good again to uh, plot that one. I wanna plot negative two and negative 120. So negative 120, I need to go clockwise. That's gonna be this dotted line here. That's gonna be negative 120. Reverse it 180 degrees, that takes me into the first quadrant. And then I'm gonna count two spots so I get, I do get something that ends up in the first quadrant there as a result. So all my answers for A, B, and C should also end up at the same spot here uh, in the uh, first quadrant. Okay, let's do this one. Uh, my, uh, my R needs to be greater than zero. Now my original R is negative two, but I want to change this to positive two. That means that I'm changing the sign of the R, so I need to use the formula that involves 180. Whenever you're changing the sign of the R, you're always adding or subtracting 180. Now, I'm starting with negative 120, and I need to choose whether to add or subtract 180. Now, if I add 180, I get a positive angle. I don't want that. I want to keep the angle negative, so I'm going to choose to subtract 180 degrees. This will give me 2 and negative 300 degrees. All right. Uh, will that make sense? So let's see, if I do, uh, basically what I would do is I would go around this way, counterclock or clockwise would be for negative angles. I go clockwise, that would take me to here. So from here I go all the way around 300, would take me to that solid line, I'd count out two spots. That's correct, it still allows me to arrive at the same spot. So that's an equivalent polar coordinate. Next, we'll do this one. Uh, I want the R to be less than zero. Okay, well, the r was already less than uh, zero there. It's already negative initially. So this time, I'm not changing the sign of the r, which means I want to add or subtract 360. So I'm starting with negative 120, and I want the angle to end up positive, so I'm gonna choose to add 360 this time. When I simplify it, I get negative two, and I get 240 degrees. Okay, let's see if this one makes sense. Well, instead of going negative 120 down to here, I'm gonna go 240 around there, reverse it in the other direction, takes me back to the same spot I started from. So yes, this is also gonna be the correct answer. This is, takes me to the same spot uh, as the original point. Last one, I want the R to be greater than zero. So this time I do need to change the sign of the R from negative to positive. So this time I need to work with uh, 180 because I'm changing the sign of the R from negative to positive. I start with my original angle, negative 120, and I'm adding 180. I definitely need to add it because I want my answer to, to be uh, positive there. So I'm gonna add 180 and I get two and 60 degrees, which definitely would be true because you could go this way exactly 60 degrees and that would take me to the same point. However, this answer is still not correct because the angle is not between 360 and 720. So I gotta do one more step. I need to add 360. Uh, to this angle. I don't want to change the sign of the R anymore. I've already made it positive. So what I need to do is I have to take now 2 and I'm going to do 60 degrees plus 360. I'm adding that because I want the angle to end up between 360 and 720. So if I do that, then I get 4 and I get 420, which basically means that I would go 60 here and add another 360. It would still take me to the same spot. Therefore, this is also going to be an equivalent point. So your final answer for part C uh, should be that one, two and uh, 420. The 420 does match my uh, condition here and my R is gonna be positive.